Welcome back to Sounds Like a Drum and part two of the Calfskin Challenge. This here is a batterhead calfskin from Stern Tanning. And as you can see, it's been played a little bit, but not much, as evidenced by how it's flat as a pancake. And here's a stern tanning head that's been on my drum for 10 years. A little bit taller. Calf heads make a unique and undeniably awesome sound, and they last for a really long time if you take care of them. And today we're just gonna talk briefly about what to do after you've ordered your surprisingly expensive calfskin head for your snare drum. The first thing you'll notice when you receive your brand new calfskin head is that it does not look like a Mylar head. When you put it on the drum, doesn't really look like it fits on there. It's just sitting flush right on top. Every calfskin head has to be molded to the drum that you're putting it on. If you look really closely, you can see that there is a little bit of a crease along the edge of this, which is put in by the manufacturer to help center the head on the edge of your drum. And you have to make your own collar, and we're gonna show you how to do that. Step one in seating the head, you're gonna need two things a rag or a paper towel, and a little bit of water, a really little bit of water. Get a rag or a paper towel, just damp, not, I can't stress this enough, not soaking wet, just damp. Squeeze it out, squeeze it out, squeeze it out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dampen the top of the head, not the bottom, not the collar, just the top, around the edge to make it a little more pliable. Make sure that this is just damp. Run it around the edge, it's not gonna look any different. It's not really gonna feel any different, but you can trust that it's doing what it's supposed to do. We don't wanna get any of the rest of the head wet. Step two, we add our batter hoop. If you've seen our previous tuning video, I'm gonna go through the same steps that I do in that video, seating the head with a ruler. One thing to mention that you may run into with your new calf head because it doesn't have a collar to drop the edge down like a normal head, is your screw's not reaching the lug. I haven't had that problem, but I know people that have. My thinking on it is to sort of press down till you can get one of them in, press down the opposite one until you can get that one in. Hopefully you can get a couple millimeters of stretch just with hand pressure on the hoop uh, to get it down there. Even with this drum, they barely reach with a brand new head, so you really have to kind of, you gotta want it. You gotta kind of force it a little bit. All the screws are finger tight now, and we're just checking to make sure that the head feels like it's centered, that it's not off center. I do this by feeling the gap in between the underside of the head and the shell, and just using my fingers, checking to make sure that it feels about the same all the way around. There isn't one spot that I can get more of my finger into the gap than another. If you haven't seen the previous video about tuning, jump in there and check it out. I go over what this is all about in there. We are going to aim for getting this head as level as we can before we worry about tuning it because, uh, as mentioned in that previous video, it's easy to end up with a head that is not seated level and you'll have a lot of difficulty tuning because of how much uh, a calfskin head can deform when you tension it up really tight. So we're gonna go around to each tuning lug, make sure they're the same height, and then we're going to start tensioning up the head. The hoop is level, and now we can start tensioning it up. Over the course of tuning the head up, applying just a little bit of pressure, just a little bit of weight to the center of the head is useful to make sure that there isn't any sticking between the head and the edge of the drum occurring as you're tuning it up and holding tension and giving you a false idea of how in tune the drum is. The 
the way I was taught to prep the head at this point is to get it in tune with itself, make sure that the hoop is level, but not take it all the way up to the tension that you would normally use it at. A little under, maybe a lot under, but a, a playable tension, but pretty low, and then leave it for 24 hours for the moisture that you put into the edge of the head to dry out of it. And that is what builds the collar in the head that will become how the head interacts with the drum and how the hoop tunes the head into the drum. Because before, as we saw, it was dead flat. And so a little bit of moisture around that area makes that portion of the head more pliable than the rest of it. And giving it a little bit of an even stretch over the head will even it out and create a nice level surface for the hoop to sit on and a nice level surface for you to play on. And the whole head will feel good from one side to the other. I went ahead and tuned this drum up to kind of a medium playing tension a little on the high side just for sound's sake and uh, let's see what it sounds like. Surprisingly to me it actually sounds a lot better than the calf head that I had on there before. Usually I find myself changing mylar heads maybe every three months depending on the, the type of gig that I'm doing if it's really hard hitting maybe It'll only last a month. The calf head that was on here before was on there for 10 years and still sounded great. I didn't feel like there was any change that needed to be made, but just like changing your oil, you don't know how much better it can be until you check. So I think I'm gonna leave this one on here now. Okay, so now we're in tune. We've got the head installed and we're done playing. This is the last step. Find your drum key and bring the head down somewhere between a half turn and a whole turn on all of the tuning keys. We've just installed the head and we want to make sure that it's level. So when you go to put it away, after you've detuned it and made sure that it's in a good spot to be stored, double check again that the hoop is level because the head is going to deform to the hoop and it's going to deform to the edge of the drum. And we want those two things to both be level. So if you bring it down a half turn or a whole turn and the head sounds like it's not really in, so in tune with itself, just for this first time, it's okay, just put it away because we want to make sure that the head learns to be level with the drum and learns to be level with the hoop so that going forward you won't find that your hoop is crooked and you won't find that you're having high spots and low spots in the uh, playing surface that will mess up the continuity of the sound from the edge to the center. And particularly with a calf head, the sound of the edge and the sound of the center, they're all really beautiful so you want to make sure that you have the best of all of those that you can possibly have. We're back down to storage tension now. I think it's okay at this point, um, you know, especially if you've been fussing with the drum for a while to get your damp rag again and go around the edge one more time before you put it away, just to make sure that there's enough moisture to allow the head to deform the way that you want. Right now, it doesn't sound perfectly in tune, but when I wake up tomorrow, after this gets put away, it's gonna be better because this stiff die cast hoop is going to apply pressure all night to this damp area and even it out for us. So tomorrow it's gonna to sound real nice and we're not gonna to have to worry about having any problems with leveling out or tuning it. One quick thought on storage. Just like with leather boots or anything else that's made out of a natural material, a cool dry place is probably best. I wouldn't store it next to your baseboard heater. I wouldn't leave it in the sun or anywhere where it's gonna get super duper hot or anywhere where it's also gonna get uh, very moist. If you, if you practice in your basement and it gets really damp down there, uh, it might suffer, the sound might suffer, and it might shorten the life of the head. So keep it in a case, put it in a closet, somewhere where it's gonna be safe from any big temperature variances or moisture changes.